Uh, this one we've been asked to repair uh, the cheek end, a wall end. Um, the footings have sunk, but originally it's not had enough uh, stone tying it into the wall, so it's just broken away. Um, we're going to put concrete padding because the ground's really soft um, and it is in a garden, so we're just going to do our best and uh, put a nice solid footing in and get that built back up. the problem with the footings and it's as I suspected they weren't built right in the first place they have sank there's nothing in the middle it's all filled just chucked in there's little bits of rubbish here as you can see as we're lifting it out they're all traced there's no way to set the footings up in the wall all the way down traced right and that's why on this one we're putting a uh, concrete padding just to uh, save any issues for the customer in the future. Let's quickly add this bit on as well. I've just lifted this stone up. <sighs> There's nothing underneath it. It's a tiny bit of soil and fill. So, I don't usually like to knock other people's work, but this is not built properly, and you should never, ever do the footings of a dry stone wall like this. I'm gonna put probably six, six and a half inches of concrete in there. Um, I think I've discovered what's happened here. Originally, it looks like there was a wall here and whoever's built it has tried to build on that now I don't know if the ground shifted it or if they've just made a poor effort of building on top but it's about three or four inches that way so all the side of this wall is actually tipping down when you look so I think there may be some future issues but for now it just wants me to fix this right that's the footing put in so I'm going to leave that till tomorrow come back and start walling it. <laughs> 